Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is actually so exciting because I'm going to be moving some stuff into the new place today. Or, why did I say today? Not today. In this vlog though, there'll be stuff being moved into the new place. So this vlog is going to be a very, very packing heavy video. I get the keys tomorrow, which is just so insane. And we're gonna be spending the first night over there tomorrow. Taylor's gonna come over here after work and then we're gonna load up his car with as much stuff that we can fit in it. And then we're gonna like sleep on an air mattress over there because we're not gonna be able to bring my bed over there, but we really wanna spend the first night there already. So I am really excited and I think it's gonna look really weird by the end of today around here because I wanna bring over some kitchen stuff and decor. So I'm gonna take like everything off the walls today. So wild and then tomorrow I'm gonna be packing some of my clothes and bringing it over to the new place I don't know. It's all so freaking crazy And there's actually still furniture in the place right now And there will be tomorrow as well because the stages are coming on Thursday So at first I was like that's kind of annoying But at the same time it's also kind of convenient because in like the main area There's a lot of different layouts I could do So I think what I want to do is play around with the furniture that's already in it Instead of bringing all my stuff over it and then figuring out a plan And I can just kind of test out all the different layouts with the stages furniture that's gonna be leaving the next Day. So that's what I want to do tomorrow. So yeah, I just want to start the vlog off. We're gonna start with the kitchen, which is a disaster right now because well, things are everywhere because I'm moving. I can't believe I'm moving. Like I say that, but it hasn't really hit me that I'm moving. Also, I just took photos of this for Poshmark, so that's why that's there. Definitely trying to get rid of everything on my Poshmark like this week so that I don't have to worry about any of that. Link down below to my Poshmark if you're interested in buying anything. But yeah, I'm gonna start packing like appliances, like my air fryer and some pots, pans. I'm gonna leave a little bit of stuff here just because I don't really know when I'm gonna get a bed over there and be able to actually fully move in and my parents are gonna be coming in a couple weeks so I might just wait to move furniture when they're here I don't really care if there's furniture for the first little while like I'm fully prepared to live in the space without much in it for a minute because I really want to invest in nicer pieces so furnishing it is going to take a minute but I'm totally okay and there's no rush so as long as I have somewhere to sit I think that's fine that's all I care about this is such a long intro clip I'm so sorry for rambling Okay guys, I have taken a little bit of a break because I've gotten a lot packed and then I got overwhelmed so I sat down for a second. So we have this box full of kitchen stuff, this box full of decor. It's actually really weird to see like this off the wall and that off the wall and this empty, like things are getting really weird around here. But I'm gonna continue doing this for the rest of the day so I've decided to take a legitimate break. Jill texted asking if I want to go to the Harry Potter coffee shop in downtown. So naturally, yes. I saw Jill went there like last week or something and I was like, oh my God, I need to go to this place. So we're gonna go and get some yummy drinks and check it out. I'm very excited to see what it looks like in there. Plus I figure if I'm gonna be doing this for a while, I may as well get some extra fuel, get some caffeine in the system. I already had a tea this morning, but I figure more caffeine. The right, so we made it here and it says, you know, a little sign, a little daily tea, if you can see it, but you know, it's close today. Closed. So, Onwards to a new right plan. Well, at least we're together. Happens says every time. I know. This area just screws us. I'm like, we can't even get cocos. I would love some boba right now. Okay, where do we go? Do you want to see if we can find another boba? I will Google. Blink latte. Hello. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, it smells good in here. Need jasmine milk tea with boba, please? Pour some new Feeling toasty. <laughs> All right, we had our bobas and now we're at Whole Foods because we were talking about vegan cheeses So we want to go check out yeah. the vegan cheeses they have here. Ooh. It is so much later guys I did not vlog when I got home and now it's nine o'clock 
I don't know what happened. Slash, I do know what happened. I got back and I was chilling on the couch and then Taylor called me after work. So I spoke to him for a while and then here we are. So I haven't done any more packing, which is not great, but you know, it's okay. It's all right, I'm gonna do more now. I got the whole night ahead of us. Yeah, bummer about the Harry Potter place. I would've been sick, but we went to this place, Toasty, which had boba, so we got some boba. I always get a jasmine milk tea sweetened. So good. But yeah, I'm back in pajamas because, you know, comfy. And we shall start on another box. I don't really know what to put in this one though. I guess more kitchen stuff. I don't know, I can't believe I'm getting the keys tomorrow. Like, I'm gonna go over there and start doing all this. I'm so freaking excited. Exciting times over here. Let's do some more packing. I got Shawn Mendes playing. Only way to do it. Well, that pulled up the drywall. There is a literal hole, so uh, that's fun. <laughs> also, I have all this jewelry that like I never wear, so I think I'm gonna throw this all up on Poshmark, or at least most of it. We're out. All right, we're out of tape, so there's not really much else I can do until I have more tape again. I mean, I guess I could keep packing, but it's 9.45 and I still haven't had dinner, so I think I'm gonna make dinner. Call it unpacking for tonight. There's only so much I can even bring over tomorrow, so I'm ahead of the game. It's really weird seeing like empty shelves now, like that's empty. It's so weird, and I know it's only gonna get weirder too. Oh shit. Sorry that wasn't focused. I'm gonna take down this actually, because then I think it's gonna feel really bare and it's gonna feel really, really like we're moving. I know I'm moving, but it's just like really, really odd at the moment. Because I've been in this building and this unit for so long. Like I've been in the building for almost, almost five years, I think like four and a half years, um, oh, boxes. So it's just gonna feel really weird to leave. Like this has just been home for so long and it feels really, really odd. It's not even feeling real yet. I think it's gonna feel real tomorrow. Once I actually get into the place with no one else in there, it's gonna really feel like mine. Can I get it? Ugh, that was actually way more than I thought. All right, how's it looking? Weird. This is so weird looking, this wall. It's all coming down. Take that down later. Actually, Taylor will probably have to help me with that one. But so this is kind of where we're at right now. I have a good amount of boxes. We have kitchen appliances, living room slash decor, mostly decor, um, more decor, my bags and bedroom. But oh, I guess I should label it. And this is falling apart because I ran out of tape. That's fun. So I guess I'm gonna have to get more tape tomorrow. Also, I'm pretty sure it's very obvious to label your boxes when you move, but in case you are moving and by some chance didn't realize that, very important to label your boxes. So once you get there, you know exactly where they're going and what's inside. So not only do I label like bedroom, like I'm gonna write bedroom. I like to write kind of what's in the box so I have an idea when I open it what's gonna be inside. So like bedroom slash decor. Plants, pillow, blanket. It's like effortless and it may as well. Yeah, that's about it. All right, it's time to make food. I think I'm gonna make mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, so it turns out I don't have mac and cheese. Big bummer because I fully thought that I had like white cheddar shells in my pantry, but I could not. So instead I am doing another easy meal because I just don't feel like cooking tonight. Spinach and mozzarella ravioli. This is the good stuff, got it at Costco. So freaking good. I'm gonna put some Alfredo on there, maybe a little bit marinara, we'll do a little pink sauce. It's gonna be good. Can't have mac and cheese, get the next best thing. This actually might be better than mac and cheese, but it's all the same. Ravioli is done, looks delicious. But I'm actually gonna bring this into bed because it's now 10, 11 and I am tired. Hello guys, it is the next day and today is the day that I get keys to my freaking house. I'm so stoked, I'm so stoked. Also, just so you guys know, I'm going to be doing an empty house tour on Saturday, like a full one that's gonna be up on my main channel because as I've said, there's still furniture in there. Can't film that really until the furniture's gone because 
empty house needs to have no furniture. But yeah, I just had a conference call with a brand and now I'm going to get some work done on my computer and just enjoy the rest of the morning. Hello, long time no chat. So I went out and about downtown LA and I was just kind of like admiring it for the last time. Obviously I'm still gonna be here for a bit. Like this apartment isn't going anywhere. I had it for the whole month, but it just felt like this is like my last time doing this walk, just living here. Like I'm, I only have this place right now because I don't have the keys until I go tonight. But I picked up some packages while I was on my way up to my apartment. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I got some little string lights for my little backyard. Very important. I have always dreamed of like putting twinkly lights in a backyard and just it being mine. And like that's insane that I have that. So I ordered these on Amazon. I'll link the exact ones I got down below and I'll let you guys know if I like them or not. Maybe we'll put them up tonight. Maybe after the stages take everything out tomorrow. I don't, I don't really know. Everything's going to be a little bit TBD until the stagers take all the furniture from the place and remove it. <laughs> but I guess we'll bring this to the house today and then I have one more package. Too Faced. I have no idea how much stuff we're gonna be able to fit in Taylor's car. I'm, I'm so intrigued and I've been waiting all freaking day. But he got out kind of late from work because Instagram was down and they work heavily with Instagram. So he wasn't able to get a lot of his stuff done until like four o'clock today and he gets out at six, so. But thankfully he didn't end up staying there too late, so. He'll be heading over quite soon. Ooh, what a pretty box. Ooh, hoo, hoo. beautiful. Great job with the marketing. The Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. And then we have the Hangover Face Primer. Hangover Good to Go Skin Protecting Moisturizer, SPF 25. Amazing, I'll wear this tomorrow. Hangover Good in Bed. <laughs> what is this? Ultra Replenishing Hydrating Serum. Ooh, so pretty. What beautiful packaging. Love the pink. Thank you so much Too Faced for the goodies. I'm definitely gonna be trying them out. But I didn't pack as much as I planned on packing today because I did a lot of computer work. See, I just don't know. It's very overwhelming. There's so much crap everywhere. Maybe like bathroom stuff. Very curious to see what the lighting is gonna be like all over the place in the new place. If it's shitty, it's mine so I can change it, which I freaking love. I can make any change that I want to the place and that is exhilarating. Ah, I don't know what to pack. Okay, I'm gonna pack a curling iron. I don't even know how much we're gonna be able to fit in his car, but I do think we're gonna come back here tomorrow, I would say morning, but since he has a day, this lighting is horrible. Much better. So we'll come back here at some point before the 4th of July festivities and get more boxes. So I want to have enough box. Oh, my closet. Oh my God, we're going to pack my freaking closet up. This is so crazy. Okay, camera died. We're back. So I think what I'm going to do is throw in a bunch of hair tools in the box. I'm going to bring all the tools over. I think that's a good place to start. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put music on, which means we're going into montage mode because otherwise I will get copyrighted. Wait up, ain't got no time for that. I've stayed up, I was hoping that you would change your ways. Wake up, you blew your final chance. Make up, I'm trying, but I cannot be mad. Because um, he's gonna need multiple boxes. <laughs> like a lot of boxes. One full box, not even one rack. But also, this is my sweater, so they are thicker. I think it'll be easier with the rest of it, but. <sighs> I cannot believe the status of my apartment. Taylor's going to freak out. He'll never see it the way that it was before, which is so wild. Like, it's just all so crazy. I still can't believe this is happening. Also, just made the decision to not. Oh, is that Taylor? He's here. Yeah, so Taylor's gonna be here any minute. I have been tracking him. Where are you at? Okay, he's very close. And then I guess we're gonna throw some of this stuff in the car. Um, issue that I realized I should have done, um, you know, it's all about, you know, learning. I didn't tape the bottoms of the boxes, so when I lift them up, the, the bottoms kind of like fall. So we're just gonna have to be extra careful. And then when I get more tape, because I didn't get more tape today, I will definitely tape the bottoms. Haven't moved in many years. So I forgot about that little that little bit. All right guys, a little bit later, Taylor got to my place and we filled up his car. It was just way too hard to vlog that because- Our hands were full. Yeah, boxes. So there's tons and tons of boxes back here. We got the trunk full as well. And we're heading over there. We're gonna be there in 13 minutes. So freaking excited. I'm also excited to see huh. it at night. What? Only sparklers should be lit. Drive sober. Oh, that's funny. That's funny.
Germany. Yeah, I'm just so excited to see it. Never seen it at night, so it's gonna be a whole new experience as well. We're gonna get the keys and, oh my, it's all crazy. See what we get over there. We got the keys and we are in the place. We got some cool arches in here. I'll show you guys more in the empty house tour, but there's still furniture in here, like a lot of it. And I guess I'm home. That's super weird. It feels really weird to be in here alone, but I hate to do this. I'm going to end this vlog here. This vlog is already so long, so I figured I would just keep the rest for the next vlog. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So excited to share this with you. I'm so excited to be here. And I will see you guys on Monday.